All right, super excited to share this private with you because I learned a ton and hopefully that uh, this breakdown and analysis of this private lesson will give you some insight of one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all time, Nam Sak Noi. Uh, and if you don't know who he is, you should. Six-time, uh, six-year reigning Lumpini champion, record of 280 15 and 5 or some crazy shit like that and absolute legend awesome guy and I hope you enjoy this private but uh, right here he's teaching me when someone is moving forward at me having that lead foot just kind of bouncing ready for the teeth boom just like that and he overemphasizes it a little bit but what he's trying to say is that even the smallest teeth to a forward moving opponent can play a big role in stopping their forward momentum and uh, shooting them back because you, you know if you've been ever teep before while you try to move forward it, it hurts so using the teep using the switch kick just getting used to countering while moving back and throwing combinations will keep your opponent a little bit more off balance and off guard now here he's saying if someone's moving forward on hard punch combinations that the the teep and having good uh, long guard defense right here so this way you can check kicks because after someone throws punches they usually finish with the kick it's going to be important because you're going to need good balance and this way you can stop their momentum and like I just mentioned earlier even the smallest teep with a forward moving opponent can uh, really disrupt their momentum their rhythm their timing and, and get them frustrated and thinking twice about moving in so I'm a little slow there. I need to get my, my teeth up a little bit quicker. And you also notice here my rear foot, my right foot, it's to the side. It's like a 90 degree angle when I teep. And later on in this private, he teaches me the way he teeps, which is a little bit different because right here, I want to have good control. But as you see, I'm kind of falling forward as I throw the teep. And so what he's saying is that having control of this teep, whether you throw it hard or soft, it doesn't matter. But having control so this way you're able to bring it back. So this way you're able to defend or strike or do whatever is it, super important. So you don't want to be falling forward because then you open yourself up for low kicks, counters, all that kind of stuff. And here he's saying with the side kick, that's when you could uh, pivot your back foot a little bit more, open up the hips so this way you can extend. But to put the regular teep, that wasn't the best example, but just a regular teep, just a quick little turn to the shoulders. And uh, lean back, and that that really makes all the difference. And so we're still trying to feel each other out, especially b going from orthodox to southpaw. Throwing a lot of fakes to uh, gauge each other's reactions and uh, see what what everyone likes to do. There, I'm trying to cut that angle again. He does a good job at defending it, though. Obviously, playing some hand fighting, using the hand fighting to set up the the lower body techniques and some upper body techniques. Just a lot of fakes. You'll, you'll notice we're throwing a lot of fakes, a lot of movement. There he catches my kick again. Gets obnoxious. <laughs> but it's all good fun. There I faked the, the jab to the body and came over top of the hook. Been really liking that a lot recently. It, it seems to be working. There I'm, I'm moving to his uh, his power side as a southpaw, which I do not want to do most of the time. And there he goes again. Tries to catch my kick. And uh, essentially what I want to do when I catch the kick is either teep him or here he's, he's telling me to uh, lift it up and around like a like an upside down U. Yeah. So if you go to the outside, it's harder for them to hold on to it. If you go to the inside, uh, that kind of goes right into their grip a little bit more. There, uh, a little thing that you might have noticed is that his outside foot, he's trying to post on the outside of my lead foot, or his lead foot to the outside of my lead foot. And there is a little, uh, that's a little tricky Con Carlos Condit type of head movement into the high kick. And if he wanted to land that, he definitely could have because I did not see that coming. And thankfully, he only threw it at 50%, so I was able to block some of it. But if he threw that full speed, no way. Yeah, he's throwing a lot of fakes now. 
especially when he, he lands one of the kicks. He landed a low kick, and then he just built off that low kick with, like, four different variations. He did the left cross. He did the Superman. He did the teep. He did the high kick. So just using one strike and then building off that one strike is a really useful way to, to land follow-up strikes and combinations. Thanks so much for watching my private with Nomsike Noi. Needless to say, it was fucking awesome working with him for 60 minutes straight. I mean, one of the best in the game. And so I was able to really pick his brain and dissect my private in the whole 60 minute session. And so if you want to watch that, make sure you go check out knockmoynation.com. Plus we got a bunch of other privates with a bunch of other Muay Thai legends and breakdowns and video courses and all that kind of stuff. But if you like this video, make sure you subscribe down below, like it and comment and let me know just what you think because I'll be coming out with a lot more stuff like this in the near future. So make sure you keep an eye out for all the new videos I got coming. Peace and love, I'll see you soon.